the amount of sanctions that we put on Russia is uh, hurts us concerning. just as much. That's concerning. If I if I was a, a adversary country, aka China, and I look at what's going on, how they're fucking sanctioning Russia from the SWIFT, I'll be like, yo, fuck that. Like yeah. if we attack Taiwan, that means we're gonna do, well, that's the same typing to us, and we can't fucking afford that shit. Yeah, they're gonna try to do their own thing. Or they're going to try to say, hey, we need to get off the dollar system. We need to adopt XRP. <laughs> you really think XRP can do it, though? Like, like I don't know, man. I feel like... Nah, I, I was so just surreal. joking. What, you mean XRP being... Being used instead of being swift. Because it's still highly centralized, if you think about it. Like, it's not just, just you're going to buy uh, XRP and say, no, you have to go through fucking Ripple, you know what I mean? So the only reason why you have to go through Ripple is because the choices that they made when the project was first launched and they wanted like maximum trust from everybody. So they said, all right, we're not going to hold the coins. We're going to put it in a program, which is the escrow thing that releases however much XRP a month to fund things that companies need to do. So I think when the escrow runs out, I think the liquidity providers will be the bag holder for XRP. If the plan is successfully launched and Ripple has all of these ODL partners all over the world that uses the XRP ledger for cross-border payments and things like that, literally bringing money from the crevices of the financial system that we have, because there's a lot of money that just sits around because it takes so long for money to get from one place to another and banks hold accounts with other banks just to have that open line of communication but if they don't need that that kind of brings money to the surface where xrp can use it that's why brad garlinghouse is so confident because with the banks talking to each other using odl on the xrp ledger it it just like sucks up money that was inefficiently used in the previous system it will and save like, money too. Money and time. Yeah. I can see it. Absolutely. It's hard to... Because at the end of the day, they can do it, yes. But the only thing that's going to hold us back is like regulations. Because Ripple has partners. They have people who are interested in the tech. That's the only thing I really question. Yeah, it can happen. I can see it happening. But at what point does it go? Because they're not going to be business to person. They're strictly going to be business to business. So at what point does the XRP come out of our hands and go to the banks? Or what? what is our role in the future of XRP? That's how yeah, I think about it. Us retailers holding this egg, this token or crypto or whatever, like, what is our role? Are, are the banks going to say, hey, man, we need that shit. We're going to give you, we're going to give you $10. <laughs> yeah, right? So I think, I think something like that can happen because let's say from the executive order, the FCA, I think it's the Financial Conduct Authority or whatever, all of them come together and say, hey, all right, you know what? We agree XRP is going to be the system. How are we going to get the XRP from the people? The president goes like, you know what? I could just write an executive order doing a buyback for national security reasons or for the greater good of the economy, whatever. They can literally do what they want, like how they bought gold back from the people, but they bought it at a lower price than what the people bought it for. Do you remember that? When they confiscated everybody's gold, mm -hmm. that shit was, uh, it was horrible. But if I they like, did, I like XRP a lot though. Oh yeah, I've used it. You know, remember that time I sent you a couple of XRP? It was like, here, man, here's, cause you bought me like a coffee or a soda. I was like, here. <laughs> yeah, like that. That simple interaction right there just shows the power of it, and I, yeah, I, that's what I want. I love it. I love. I love having control of my capital, not going through. The middleman to access my own cap. If I want to send you fucking a whole Bitcoin right now, I can. Like, oh yeah, like yeah. Go ahead. Money. You want my address? No, I'm good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, but yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Though. Sheesh, a whole Bitcoin. You damn. You fucking. You're an expensive one. Not, you don't even ask for Satoshi's. 
Hey, you said it. These are your words, not mine. Hey, man, I was just... <laughs> just give an example. Uh, dang, everybody's tweeting about the case now. People oh, the, in the, the picture I send you? Yeah. I wonder what the SEC is going to do if they lose. <laughs> I think they're not going to lose, man. They're going to be like a settlement or something. Like, you know what I mean? The, yeah, but Garlinghouse said Ripple's not going to settle unless they get some kind of clarity. Something that helps them because the SEC literally wasted their time this whole case. They they want something out of it. And I think they're in a position to demand that something. Like, they have leverage right now. The FCC, I don't know why they did that, man. They're fucking stupid. You didn't see the freaking sketchy shit? They think William uh, or Bill Hinman... They think he did it because when he, no wait, Jay Clayton, yeah. When he left the SEC seat, he went to work for some Ethereum project. <laughs> but they're saying that Ethereum could be a security too, though. Yeah, but they, not, they said- I'm not gonna lie, Ethereum, this is security, bro. Uh, at least uh, the ICO. Well, I mean, yeah, that's why this whole case doesn't make sense because they're like, okay, XRP didn't have an ICO. Ethereum had an ICO. They said out of their mouths, the SEC said Ethereum was not a security. So how is XRP a security? And that's I mean, like that's where the mind boggling thing comes from. It's Ashton like, Kusher is a fucking well in Ethereum. He bought a lot when the ICO. Damn, that's crazy. What I mean a lot, I mean this guy is one of those wallets that if he moves something, they're gonna report it well or Ashton Kusher, yeah. It sucks for him there's an interview. Uh like in the early days, he's him him bragging about it. And now that's gonna hunt him. Now everybody knows he's a fucking whale. There's no way he can transact like if you know about crypto, there's no way you can transact on a public ledger as a whale and think you're just gonna get away with it. No, there's no way. I mean, you can remain anonymous if you keep you your mouth shut. You can try to some Monero on a decentralized exchange or something. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you know what? You know that tool that some of the criminals use, Tornado, for ETH? Yeah. That Tornado Cash, which, like, takes your address and dumps it in the trash and gives you a new one? Basically, he could do yeah, that. that's what I have on my, that's what I have on my um, Bitcoin. Every time I transaction my Bitcoin, I got a new address. Oh, damn. Yep. That way no one can track it. That's pretty dope. Because remember, your big, your your ledger, all it does is hold your private and public key. You can change your uh, public key at any time. Hmm. So every time I, trans I do a transaction on Bitcoin, it changes my address, my receiving address.